just behind me and Jason are our finalists for the fully funded drive competition for next year's racing rivals. And soon we will find out who that winner is. But first, Jason, just how big an opportunity is this for an aspiring racing driver? Well, it's a, a competition which has never been done before. This is a massive prize. Remember, it's a fully sponsored drive in the Seat Cooper Championship next year. And the winner of that championship will then become a works driver in the BTCC or the European Tour Tour and Car Championship. So it's a massive prize for someone who do, who, you know, who's just looked at the t TV, made a few phone calls, and they've got a ch chance for a great drive. It certainly is exciting stuff, but before we find out who that winner is, first of all, we caught up with the 10 finalists to find out who impressed the judges the most. Having been marked over the previous two rounds, our drivers tasked today were to set a quick time on the track and be interviewed by a team of panelists. For most of the drivers, the struggle to race in a major championship has been a lifelong ambition, and they were all feeling the pressure. This is um, pretty much the biggest day, without a doubt, of my motor racing career. You know, I'm just happy to be down to the last ten, but uh, if I weren't, it'd just be, you know, it'd, be, it'd make my life. <laughs> Having driven the car now, I know that I'm not quick enough at the moment, and I need to find, I've got to pull something pretty special out of the bag. Well, there's nine other people to beat. Uh, hopefully, I'm the one that's going to do the job. It's a bit daunting yeah, to see them going on the track, you know, and that's what you're up against. It looks like I'm the only novice out of the final ten. So pleased to be here for sure, so, but uh, I don't know what my chances are going to be like. Following the morning practice session, the clouds rolled in and on the track, the conditions became very tricky. The drivers were judged on their speed and consistency, with time penalties being awarded if a driver hit a cone. With the results being announced at Brands Hatch, each driver was left with a nervous wait. This prize is more than anything I've ever done in my life, in my racing career or anything. It's, it's the big chance, it's the, the once in a lifetime thing that comes along. To me this prize is, you would not believe how much it would mean for me because it's the combination of all the work that I've put in over the last few years. So Ollie, we've just heard how much this prize means to you. How are you feeling right now? To be honest, I can't really speak. I'm a bit of a quivering wreck. So, uh, yeah, it's probably best to talk to me after it's been announced. Cause, uh, you well, are shaking. Oh, well. God, I've never been so nervous in my life, I don't think. So. Oh, God. Well, it soon will be revealed. And how tough a couple of weeks has this been for you lot? Absolutely nerve-wracking, but immensely fun at the same time. Come on, Jason, put these lads out of the misery. Well, I want to keep the tension going a bit more because it's be very tense here. Well, the winner is, congratulations to him, Ollie Wilkinson. How are you feeling now? I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, well, you don't need to say any more. Very best of luck for next season. Oh, you. you are going to be in the sea at championships. Thank you. Oh, no, I can't believe it. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Wow.